I'm Sue Arrington. I live in Muncie, Indiana, which is in the middle part of the United States. I'm a member of the Indiana General Assembly, which is the branch of our state government that makes our state laws. I'm here today to extend greetings from the women of my state to uh, the women of Afghanistan uh, in honor of International Women's Day. Um, I and other women in my country have been aware of the struggles that Afghan, Afghan women have had for many years. We became aware of it back in the days when the Taliban was in power uh, because feminist organizations in our country uh, began to speak out about what was happening to the women of Afghanistan. We know that things are much better now, and we're glad. Because women's equality is very important. And I think that our former First Lady Hillary Clinton said it best in a speech that she gave at the fourth uh, conference on women in Beijing in 1995. And what she said was, women's rights are human rights. Um, the empowerment of women is important, not just because it makes life better for women, but it raises uh, opportunities for everyone. And so one of the keys to that empowerment is education. And I understand that you are all students at a center in Kabul where you are studying English and computer skills. And I want to encourage you to continue your studies because it's an important way to improve your lives. Now, in my country, there was a time when women and girls had limited educational opportunities by, because of law and custom. That has changed because women demanded change. And so as you continue to study, as you finish your studies, I want to encourage you to continue to work for, for educational opportunities for the girls and women that come after you uh, so that the door stays open to this avenue to empowerment for women. Now, I have to say that um, women have many rights here in the United States, but things are not perfect here yet. Um, we are still facing some of the challenges that you face. Things like violence against women, um, things like uh, unequal pay for the work that we do and problems with access to health care. And finally, there are too many young women who get pregnant as teenagers and drop out of school so that too many of them end up living a life of poverty and missed opportunities. So we here in the United States uh, know that we still have work to do, and we are still pushing for equality for women in our own country as well as throughout the world. I'd like to finish by telling you about Bibi Barami. Bibi lives in the United States. She's lived in my community for many years, but she's from Afghanistan originally. She has devoted her life to raising thousands of dollars for projects to benefit the girls and women of her home village in Nangahar, Afghanistan. Uh, her first project was to raise money to build an elementary school. Her second project was to raise money for vocational training in skills like sewing so that the women could sell the products that they made. Her third project was building a health center. And now she set her goal to build a high school in her home village. Bibi lives in the United States, but her heart is still in Afghanistan. And like Bibi, 
we, the women of the United States, who live thousands of miles away from you women in Afghanistan, we consider you our sisters. And as we recognize Women's Equality Day, or Women's International Women's Day, it's a reminder to us of that sisterhood. And so we extend our um, hands of friendship and solidarity to the women of Afghanistan. Thank you.